The goal of the VCOM brick technology is to significantly increase the flexural properties of, uh, of thin-walled composite structures by adding only very little weight. If you look now at this, at this um, plate made from, from flex fiber composite, you see that it's, uh, well, it's a very thin structure, it's very easy to bend. With the VCOM technology, adding our rate, you see it's the same base fabric used as a, as a, as a base plate, and you see that it's much stiffer, and we actually increase the flexural stiffness by factor two with adding only 10 to 20 percent of weight. So the question now is how is it possible, in that and why has never anyone done that before? The reason is that using natural fibers, you need to spin them into yarns, and doing this, you introduce a certain twist into the, 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 the yarns, which then resists which makes these yarns resist the compression during uh, the process. If you imagine an infusion process or, or a vacuum molding, um, the yarns will keep their, their, their cross-section quite constant, resisting the, the compression and ending up in these, one after the impregnation, into these uh, solid ribs. Um, the way we do it in, in terms of industrialization, you see on your left side um, the fabric that we, we uh, manufacture in a highly automated process. So we get these grid structures into the fabric and can then place and even um, directly stitch them onto a base layer of or fabric, which again is tailored to your specific application to meet the, the requirements of the, of the part.